Hey guys, so John Mesolidis, Mesolidis, I'm not pronouncing that right, John asked me to review the Timber Creek Basic and Premium Arrows, so that's what I'm going to do. Now, I'll be honest, I had preconceived notions going into this, um... I've, I've been shooting carbon arrows for a while, I, I've, obviously I've shot wooden arrows, so I, I, I was very opinionated before these arrows actually turned up. Um, now I didn't just buy the, the basic and the premium, I also bought the medieval arrows because I like the medieval arrows and you know, it's just one extra. But I've got to say, I've... I've come around. I honestly, I'm I'm shocked. I'm I'm, I'm genuinely shocked with these arrows. So, um, yeah, let's let's make a start. So, basic arrows. Uh, they are. Well, they're they're basic. You know, they're they're not going to glow in the dark. They're not going to sing to you. <clears throat> Um, I have to say, when you're when you're buying these, uh, you have to buy at least six. So it's going to cost you about thirty thirty two pounds. Honestly, that's not that bad for arrows. I've spent way more for half a dozen than thirty two pounds, and genuinely, these have really, really impressed me. Uh, so start here. It, to me, the tip looks like a combo point, which is, you know, they're, they're good for target shooting and they're good for when you shoot into a 3D target. Um, I've not tried them on my 3D target yet, but they also look quite nice. Uh, it's a very, very basic arrow shaft with the lovely Timber Creek stamp on there. And then you get to the feathers. Now, I make arrows every now and then. Um, I put a lot of stock into a good arrow. And I, I genuinely think a well-made arrow is far more important than a well-made bow. I'd much rather have a, a, a very basic stick bow and really good arrows than the top-of-the-line bow and bad arrows. It just, it's just not going to work for me. So I do get quite critical with arrows, and when I find some that I really like, I tend to stick with them quite a bit. Now, there's a little bit of fraying. You can just about see there. Um, I'm going to chalk that up because I've been shooting these for a couple of hours. Nice bit of threading around the bottom of the feathers. Again, a little bit of fray, and it did come with these tiny little bits of fray. It's not on every arrow, but they are there. It's not a major thing. It's not, you know, it, it, it's not going to fall apart on you, but it's just a little aesthetic thing that nags at me. But the, the blue, the black works very nicely. Now, um, I'll be honest, uh, there, there's many color combinations I, I genuinely went for the first available arrow that I could buy, which is why I've got blue and black, but blue and black's quite nice. And then a fairly standard knocking point. Now, I will say um, the knocking points are pretty much the same. Um, the only thing I don't like about the knocking points is I'm used to there being a little ridge here. So where the cock feather would be, you can see it on the on the knock as well. Um, because I'm so used to that, I, I very rarely look at the feathers to see where I should line it up, whether it should be there or whether it should be there. I, I tend to just look at the knocking point now. So that took me a little bit longer to knock the arrow, but that's that's just a me thing. It's not really major to the arrow i expected uh that this arrow would arch 
and the weight to drop. So, you know, when you, you shoot, the arrow goes up, of course, and then it arches back down because of a little thing called gravity. I was very, very, very surprised, blown away, and incredibly impressed. Um, a lot of wooden arrows will start to arch and the weight will get to you at about 20 yards, 20, 25 yards. Now, it's not a major thing if you're only shooting uh, that particular arrow. I'll, I'll, I'll get into why a bit later. But these tend to be pretty good up to about 40 meters. Now, I didn't shoot past 40 meters because when you get past 40 meters for me is when I start missing quite badly and I didn't want to lose any of these arrows so I stuck at distances that I knew I would hit my target. So right up to 40 meters, um, genuinely impressed. I mean, they are, they're very well made. The weight is incredibly well distributed and you know, they're, there's a little bit of power loss uh, when you shoot from a bow and it goes into particular types of arrows, which is why you know it, it will arch and it will bend and it will go down sooner. And then others like the Timber Creek Classic Carbons will tend to go a lot further before they lose that power and, and gravity wins. But these such a good distance on them i honestly i didn't think they would be this good so i'm really really impressed with that so going back to the preconceived notions um this is not a timber creek arrow this is an arrow decal they i mean you know they they add a little bit of color to the arrows so they look quite nice i'm i've really gone off of them but, you know, they, they can be quite decorative. So when I saw the premium arrows, that's almost what I thought was coming. That's not what came. This is what came, and it is not a decal. This is just... It's beautiful. I mean, it, it, it's so beautiful. It's just... It's stained and treated wood with cresting. It, it's not a sticker. So, yeah, it's just... It is really nice. Really nice. Now, again, there's there's some options when it comes to the, the feathers. Again, I just bought the first available ones just so I could do the video. Really impressed. Uh, again, it's, it's the same knocking point. Uh, the shaft is obviously different. It's, it's stained. It's got this beautiful orange color i mean it's really really nice timber creek stamp on it of course crestings and then we go back to it it's almost the same formula when they come to doing their their, their feathers and their fletchlings a little bit of cloth which on these look look much tidier the feathers much nicer uh, there's no strayed bits and a camo for the cock feather rather than just a different colour, but the exact same knocking point. So, you know, I, I had the same issue with this as I do with the basic ones, uh, which is just my personal preference. It's what I've gotten used to, but it, it's not a bad arrow. I mean, in terms of how these arrows shoot, um, I really can't feel the difference. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna aim to be buying the best Timber Creek arrow, um, honestly, you could get the basic arrows for a little bit cheaper, and you'll be just as happy. The only real difference uh, between the basic and the premium is this: the the, the look, the stained finish on the bottom, and the cresting. If the cresting's that much of an issue to you, you, you can crest yourself. I mean, that's, you know, it, it's not an impossible thing to do. You know, you, you could stain the arrow yourself. 
but it's you know it's obviously if you want it to come that way then um, I'm pretty sure these were about seven pounds per arrow and you can just buy one of these arrows you can buy two of these arrows you don't th th there's no minimum purchase requirement with the premium arrows which is really nice um, I'm honestly I'm really happy I mean with these arrows I'm I'm honestly thinking about leaving my carbon arrows at home for the foreseeable future and just shooting these wooden arrows honestly they're, they're so nice to shoot um, I really really enjoy shooting them let's um let's get on to the last arrow are you really ready okay okay the medieval arrow same tip again which i'm all in favor for the shaft is a little bit thicker because you know it's a medieval arrow it's meant to be shot from a much stronger bow very basic shaft just thicker the, the stamp is on and then big feathers big feathers thread at the bottom and it goes right the way up through the feathers all the way up to the top and then a nice finish thread around the top which i i really like uh the knocking point itself knocked uh genuinely or you know for for most of the times i prefer self knocking wooden arrows so this was my favorite before it turned up now i when i looked on the site uh, obviously links will be below um the, the shafts looked a little bit lighter i thought this was going to be closer to a whiter arrow coming but uh obviously it it didn't it, it's just it's it's an arrow shaft that's been treated obviously um it, it's I don't want to sound too down about it, but I thought it would be better. Um, it's it's quite a snug fit when you when you come to knocking, um, which is strange because you know I I have an Asian war bow and I shoot the war arrows from the war bow. This was really difficult to get it knocked it, it's such a it's such a tight fit i mean even on my my um my, my black panther setup which is not a war bow it was a really really snug fit and i had to really pull it back to actually get it properly knocked the feathers are well, you see this is just that little bit longer now that would be you know i'd, I'd be perfectly happy with that if it was the cock feather but it's it's not this one is so it's just it's, i don't know it i'm a little bit disappointed with the medieval arrow which is you know it it's what i thought would be my favorite when they turned up but it's it's it's, it's not honestly i I haven't got enough good things to say about the basic and the premium. So out of all three, um, I wouldn't have the war. I wouldn't have the the medieval arrow. I, I honestly wouldn't. I if I'm gonna pick one arrow, I may go for the premium purely because of the the gorgeous orange stain but in terms of how they shoot how they react in the air uh, they're, they're both exactly the same so you know you can you can spend 32 pound and have the basic arrows or you can spend that little bit more and you can have the premium arrows and you know, you, you should you're gonna have really good arrows I was getting some really good groups, uh, some really tight shots, and it was it was a pleasure to shoot them. It it really was. So really, it comes down to what you prefer the look of.
So, um, what I would say, uh, generally, if if you're going to buy a wooden arrow, so let's say you've you've chosen that you're going to go for the basic arrows, because you know why not? They're they're really good arrows. So you get six of the basic ones, and you put these six in your quiver. If you have one of these, obviously in much better condition, and that's in your quiver, take it out. I mean, it, look, it, they're not bad arrows, but the arrows do act differently in the air. So if you're shooting at 20 yards, it's not really going to make much of a difference. But if you're shooting 30 meters, 40 meters, 50, 60 you know, however far you can shoot and you're you're looking to hit a target and you're looking to, to hone in your aiming skills, keep to the same arrow because this acts differently in the air to this. Now that's that's not a problem if you're only shooting the same type of arrow. You will learn how that particular arrow acts in the air. You'll learn how it flies when it starts to drop when that arc and gravity starts to kick in and it, you know gravity takes over you'll learn that and that will become part of your aiming and your whole shot cycle um as i said at the start of this video i had preconceived notions so i had an opinion on this to begin with but i did take my six basic timber creek arrows out and in the quiver i did have the premium arrow and i was expecting a difference i was expecting a big difference and i was expecting for me to be proven right and for one of my arrows that i wasn't quite used to to go missing they honestly shoot exactly the same so you know, if if you want the, the basic, get the basic. If you want the premium, get the premium. I had already in my head thought about saying only buy the basic or only buy the premium. Don't mix and match these two arrows. But you can because they do shoot exactly the same. But don't mix and match these three arrows because they don't act the same. Timber Creek is really good. Uh, they, I mean, um, I've been shooting Timber Creek classic carbon arrows for ages now. Because of these wooden arrows, I'm I'm going on to the wooden arrows. Honestly, they're they're so nice, and you can mix and match these. But generally, uh, when you buy the Timber Creek arrows, just shoot the Timber Creek arrows. Don't mix and match. Whether you have Eastern Access or, you know whatever arrows you might have don't mix and match in your quiver shoot six timber creek and then you know six completely different arrows but don't mix and match get used to the arrows that you're shooting and you're really not going to regret buying either of these i hope that helped i know i got very rambly at the end but there you go Enjoy.